I'm sorry. I had to make another video about Helldivers 2. And I, I want to update you guys on the controversy, what's happened since yesterday. Because I, I can't believe what I am seeing. And, and I'm meaning that in a good way. Uh, at least from the community's standpoint. Uh, the community manager, not so much. But uh, maybe you guys found my video for the first time yesterday. You found my channel for the first time yesterday because I covered Helldivers 2 in the controversy. And you don't know who I am. I've been covering Call of Duty for a long time. And I've seen my personal community with Call of Duty turn into giant fucking retards. They put their mental illnesses in their bio on Twitter. They rock the anime profile picture. And they get obscenely butthurt if you make fun of them for spending hundreds of dollars to play play digital dress up in their first person shooter meant for children and boomers yeah we're there and if you don't like the r word i used earlier just pretend i'm robert downey jr in blackface and maybe it'll be easier to swallow i want to talk about helldivers 2 though and what's happened since yesterday not too much but enough has happened to where i, I think i need to cover it in a follow-up video because god damn it i'm proud of you guys i, I truly am i seriously have never seen a, a player base come together with this amount of solidarity before i don't think ever seriously I'm very proud of you. Now, yes, I saw the comments, some comments on yesterday's video, given that uh, Call of Duty little dick energy saying like, ah, if you don't like it, don't play it. Or they'll say, uh, I don't see the big deal. Just make a PSN account. Uh, you can explain it to them. You could literally spell it out for them. But if it doesn't affect them, they don't care. And those people, you're fucking assholes. And you're also a paste-eating moron. But I, I digress. Let's talk about the positives here. What's happened since yesterday? Well, uh, the reviews on Steam speak for themselves. I, I truly can't believe how on the same page people are with this. Bravo. Golf clap. Seriously. If Sony does not walk this back straight up, they just don't care. And I'm really not happy to see how the community manager actually handled this. Check this out. It's not like this is the first or even the 14th mainstream game to require a third-party account that takes a couple minutes to create. But if it's a deal breaker to have to take 120 seconds out of your day to enter an email and password and then forget about it, change your Steam review and make your displeasure known on a platform where it matters. Spitz, I gotta say, that is some dumb advice, my friend, because a ton of people did that i'm so sorry but i am at the point where if a company disrespects me either you know intentionally or otherwise if they treat me like i'm an idiot i'm done with them i'm done with them they can pound sand this legitimately happened yesterday i, I had the screenshots to prove it Look at this, and then I'll get back into the Helldiver stuff. But th this is, like, something I, I just need to show you guys because this is the man I have become. And if I can be so bold here, I quite like the man I've become. I get this little, uh, you know, notification from Chipotle saying, Hey, we got a deal going on right now. No delivery fees through the app. I look at it, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. I like Chipotle, but their prices are getting insane. I mean, the prices of everything is, is getting insane. But I'm like, okay, no delivery fees. That'll cut down on the prices some. I open up the app, and I see this. Cinco all week long with $0 delivery fee. Use code Cinco24 now through May 5th to make your Cinco week a little extra. Look at the asterisk. Higher menu prices and additional service fees apply? I, I look at that and I'm like, what? Wait, you're giving me $0 delivery fee, but you're raising the menu prices? I have to ask, what is the point? I went to Reddit and I saw this. This $0 delivery fee promo does literally nothing to the price and is so misleading. My usual Chipotle order is 20 point XX before tip. There is no difference in cost. I deleted the app and I am never going to Chipotle again. They may as well have spit in my face. Why even waste my time showing me this? It's just a trick. You're treating me like an idiot. No, pound sand. I'm not going back. I will cook at home. 
You know, I recently had a falling out with Wendy's. Not like Wendy herself, but the, the restaurant chain. You see, fast food, it's supposed to be fast and it's supposed to be cheap. But with inflation, it's it's not cheap anymore. And with people like just being unskilled at their job nowadays, uh, across the board, it's not just in fast food, it's, it's everywhere. Everyone is just like, they, they just don't care, I guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, like it's not fast. It, it's not uh, cheap. So why would I go back? I, I'm done. I, I just will not go back. I will eat at home. Anyway, let me segue back into Helldivers 2 here because I want to show you what the community manager said after that initial statement. And tell me, as a player, if you would see this and still want to play the game. Honestly, because I wouldn't with the stuff I just told you. If I saw this and I was currently playing Helldivers 2, I would stop playing it straight up. This guy in the Discord says, this will kill Helldivers 2 on Steam, backpedal, or lose your player base. Spitz says, I thought you were refunding and leaving. And the tweet says, real class act, that one. Yeah, no, if I saw that, I would refund, I would leave, and I would leave a negative review for your game. I would probably also, I don't know, walk past Sony HQ one day if I'm in the area and crop dust them while I'm at it. Oh, but wait. Oh, but wait. He, he actually walked it back, guys. It's okay. Uh, new updates from Spitz, says the Helldivers 2 Media Twitter. Spitz says, yeah, I was completely unaware how many countries didn't have the ability to make a PSN account when I made that statement. I deeply regret implying that it was so easy for everyone to just sign up and not have to worry about it. It's absolutely not our intention to force people to break Sony TOS or just not play the game if they're in a restricted region. There needs to be a better solution. And while I agree with you, too little too late, you said what you said, and maybe if you took your own advice and took 120 seconds just to look and see what this actually did, you wouldn't have said something so stupid. Spitz? Oh my god, man. Let's go over all this, though, if you're, like, stretched for time and you don't want to look it up. I mean, I'll, I'll make it very simple for you. Th this tweet pretty much covers it from Rock Solid here. In short, Helldivers 2 has great reputation and massive player base. Sony makes the devs roll out an update that will require everyone playing to have a PlayStation Network account connected. The only previous mention of this requirement is in a small box on Steam. Over 60 countries cannot make a PSN account. Some countries require a government ID to make one. EULA never directly mentions a PSN account requirement. PlayStation silently changes their policy in regards to PSN account requirements on PC. PlayStation is infamous for data breaches and spam mails. The Helldivers community manager downplays the entire situation and describes it as just a two minute process. It is highly possible that the grace period was just to avoid mass refunds from unsupported countries. People run defense for Sony downplaying the situation online as just PC players seething and overreacting for no reason. Classic Sony. I, I'm sorry, but if you are not on the side of the little guy, if you are siding with the, the, the rich suits, the giants at Sony, kindly get off my channel. Kindly take your shoes off and go step barefoot on a bunch of Legos and kindly take that bleeding foot and shove it in your mouth, you stupid asshole. Like, seriously, I am so sick of gaming. This thing I have loved for 30 plus years now, I am so sick of gaming becoming this. Becoming this, like, just way to rip off the consumer, and I'm sick of these stupid consumers supporting these companies, ripping them off. We have gotten so weak and pathetic as just people, as a society. I'm sorry, I hate to sound like I'm in Mr. Robot or whatever, but it's true. I am going to be someone that will stand up to this on my channel no matter what. That's just who I'm going to be from now on. Not just on my channel and not just with gaming, but in real life. I'm just, I'm over it, man. I am done with anyone treating me like this. It's over. It's done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, rate, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. And um, let me know your thoughts below. I'll catch you on the next one.
base. Do some parting advice. 